What is up, guys? It's your boy Ashburn, your brand new Triple Life 2 video once again. Um, so I did a clan tier list, and since you guys like, I'm mean, well, Genkai tier list, not really clan tier list. Since I did that last time, I decided to, you know, do weapons tier list, and I don't know some of you guys came for me, especially for like, you know, putting Renegon as S and like, you know, paper. I'm like, but like, you also gotta realize for the, like, for Renegon, it's not even that good anymore. Like, it's just like you guys are overhyping it way too much. It might be an unpopular opinion, but I stand by my list, so tough luck. Anyways, guys, you already know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get right into it. First up, we have Asuma's Blade. Asuma's Blades are definitely A rank. They have a good hit scan. Well, they have. They're one of the few things in game that have a hit scan detector. And like, meaning what I mean by hit scan is that it actually requires you to aim at the target for it to go. It's not auto track. And like, and with that, because of that, if the target is far away and you're just running away in a straight line, you can literally snipe them. So. Pretty busted in my opinion. Next up we have the bat throwables, the batterings. These are C rank. Um I don't think a, a, any a lot of the throwables will go above C because like you know they're throwables and like what they can do is pretty limited. And what's it called? Yeah, it's nice, it has that like a little bit of a stun, but it's not even that great considering the damage is kind of like you know negligent. The only thing I would really worry about is really the stun and which might have pushed it to B. But not exactly. It's just gonna stay at this high C for now. Next, we have the Killer B Sword Acrobat style. These are B rank. I don't know. I don't know why people would be saying, "Oh, it's busted." It's really not. Yeah, it, if it auto, if it hits, it's nice. But you also gotta realize it has one of the most faultiest uh, auto tracks in the entirety of the game. Like the person could be right next to you and it doesn't even work. And now with the update. I'm pretty sure it, I don't even remember what Robop told me what it was. You can't even do your M ones sometimes after you do your Q because there's that little bit of a delay, which is Loki, which nerfed this greatly in the combo aspect of it. Next up, we have the Savage Blade. The Savage Blade is also B rank. I don't really use this sword that much, but from what I've seen other people use it, it's a pretty hefty sword. It does a good amount of damage and it got a buff recently. I wouldn't put it, it's like mid B though, not even like a high B. Next we have the Pain Rod. Toss, well, well the Pain Rod. These right here are pretty good weapon, like, and they have a pretty nice stun. And it has like that good amount of damage. Like, the main thing about it is the stun. If it's hit, like, it's a great combo extender or a combo starter. So, it definitely deserves its A rank. Again, throwables like these are the, probably the these are better than the battering damage wise, but I, I would put this at like a mid C damage wise. Like, well, no, they're they they're the most damaging throwable currently in game in the throwable section. Since Pain Rods are low key throwable also, but we don't talk about that. They do a lot of damage, and it it's put it's an ice a high C, and it still has that little bit of an ifty stun but it's just that really not much else to it next we have the claws the claws used to be a rank definitely but they fell down especially the new update yeah like they hit but eh. if you can easily see the claws coming it's not well i'll put it at b the claws are still good next we have the cleaver sword the cleaver sword is pretty good it has it, ha it sends out a large, well not even large stream, it's more of like large bubbles of black lightning towards a singular way, in a singular pathway, and then it stuns the person, and if all three hits it does a good amount of, pretty hefty amount of damage, so it definitely deserves its S rank. Next we have the Stone Buster, this is a B rank sword, I, well no, it's, I'll put it at high C for now. I don't really use this sword either because I because it's not worth my time. It's kind of useless, but it's still like a decent sword if you like don't have anything else higher equipped. Uh, the windmill shuriken is it's FD. 
top of it as undetermined for now. I have my misgivings about it, but I also think it's getting some certain aspects. Next, we have Zabuza Sword. Zabuza Sword is definitely S tier, especially after the stun buff that they gave it. If you haven't used Zabuza because you think, oh, it's not even that good, bro, you have not seen anything. It literally stuns the person to the ground. Uh, next, we have uh, what's it called? The fan. I'll just call it the fan. It's a C. It's like it's it's low key a low C and a high D. The only reason I'm not putting it as a D is because like you know, if it hits, it does a decent amount of damage. But even then, it's like low key a D. I'll, but I'll put it as C to be nice. Guardian's Blade is a C B. It got a certain. It recently got above, so it's pretty nice. It has good AOE, so I definitely re would use it. Uh, next up, we have the Gone by. That is really nice. Like the only reason it's not S is that the damage is set, so it's not able to go higher. But it definitely has AOE properties, and yeah, like it hits three times, so it will do a limited amount of damage. Uh, next we have uh, what's it called, the Hashirama's Blade. This one right here has a decent AOE, does a good amount of damage, and, it, and yeah, it's just nice overall. Uh, next we have the Katana D. Uh, Kiba's blade, the Kiba blades are a B, but they're low key a C also. The only reason they would be a C is because like the hitbox for it, well the the tracking on it is kind of iffy. But besides that, it's a good sword. Definitely has that stun factor. Uh, Kunai blade is a C. Without you can just block it. You can, like if they're not really close combat, close, it's kind of useless. And like the stun doesn't even last that long. Um. The kunai and the kunai throwers D. This is Mufune Sword. Mufune Sword is uh, mm, it's a B low key, but it's low key a C also. I'll put in undetermined because I can't decide between B or C. But it's really it's a really nice sword if you have it. Like it has the slashes are busted if you hit them all, and it's a good combo finisher for range people. Well. Close to mid range. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk about this. You already know how I feel about it. If you ever seen my videos, this is literally busted. It teleports you behind the person. It does 20 over 25. It does like the, I think the damage is at 25k, and, or it has the ability to go above 25k. It's just it's busted either ways. This is undetermined since it hasn't come out yet. So is this Nuibari busted? The ability to pull multiple people towards you while stunning, stunning them and letting them be in your M1. Busted. Uh, this is Loki a B. Yeah, I, I made a decision. This is a B also. Um, I put this as a B because of the one factor and one factor only is that because people will get caught off guard with its move. Like if you no, know, if you haven't really fought a lot of people using Omar's Blade. A moist blade will literally come after you, even though like the slash disappears. So it usually gets people off guard. Next, you have the guiding kusanagi. The guiding kusanagi is low key, a low S, but high A. It's a very high A. The only reason I'm not putting it at S is that like if you don't hit it right then and there, it's not really gonna do any. It's not really that good. And like the damage gets reduced the longer range it is. So you need to be very close range, and you like the best aspect is that you need them stunned for them for it to be used effectively. It's still a good amount of damage, very good. Next we have uh, Samyada. Samyada is a very good sword. I definitely think it's worth S rank, especially after the buff, the ability to you know, the ability to stun multiple people while taking away some of their chakra is really good. Next, we have the Gaian Kusunagi. The Gaian Kusunagi is A. The damage is nice, and what's it called? The TP effect on it is very clean. If you're a close range fighter and you want to use Gaian Kusunagi, the Gaian Kusunagi is really not that bad. Uh, next, we have the Shippuden Kusunagi. The Shippuden Kusunagi is lucky as if you ever seen Ghost in the Cosmos CC videos, you'll see him using it. I'm pretty sure he uses it in his RPG fights too. It's just an overall busted sword, and like. It doesn't deserve to exist, but that's just me. Uh, Guiding Kusanagi V2. It's low key mid S and like high A. I just think that. I just think that because of the variety. Not even. It's like. It's low key a high S too. It's just that it has a lot of variety that you can use it with. You can do it as a combo extender, combo finisher, or, or it just. 
It just depends on how you're feeling that day, to be honest. Uh, the two-handed scythe, I believe this is what it's called. A two-handed scythe. Uh, dual blade scythe, not. Dual handed scythe, dual handed scythe, dual blade scythe. I'm pretty sure this is the dual blade scythe, but this is low key a C. Not I mean, crap, it's not even that good. So is this. Doesn't deserve the B rank. Uh, that is the. This right here is the. I believe that's Hawkins weapon. It has a nice. Uh, what's it called? It has nice poison to it. Really really nice overall don't really have a lot of bad things to say about it the kabuto warrior c tier weapons are not even that good don't know why people are overhyping it uh i think this is the he i it, it's a very long name but the himarukai i believe uh this one's really not that bad it's b rank it has a good amount of damage and it has a massive area ability to hit multiple people this is definitely an a rank even with its damage nerf it still it still has the ability to hit multiple people at a time and it hits them for three times and doing over like 11 over 10k plus damage each hit. I'm pretty sure it's like around 11k now. Even then, it's still busted. Uh, Shisui's Tonto. I believe this is definitely S rank with the new dam with the new buff that it got. Definitely S rank. This is undetermined. Undetermined. Oh wait, no, this is not Shisui's Tonto. My bad. I'm sorry for that delay. This is I was right. Shisui's Tanta. I don't know why I said that. Uh, it was not. This right here is definitely S rank with its new buff and everything added to it. So I would definitely recommend using it and the ability to hit multiple people at once. It makes it good for team fights. Also, this it's not bad, but the fact that it goes in a singular motion, you can literally just do the same with Shidori Shreen. So it's not even really worth using. Uh, the triple blade side, as its buff is really nice and the ability. It's literally new Bari, but it, instead of like bringing multiple people towards you, it pulls you towards multiple people. So that's really nice. Sentry Raijin is in. It's like a low A rank, but it's still a good sword. You can definitely use it. Um, White Fang Tanto is a B rank sword. It's nice, it has good damage, and I'm, and it goes in a straight line also. So it's really not that bad of a sword. I wish they could they could have done a little bit more with it, but can't expect a lot. We have a lot of good and great weapons. But anyways guys, this is my tier list. Let me know down in the comment section down let me know down below in the comment section if you agree with it. And you know, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.